that off is talent. Like, this is talent in, like, 10 out of 10. There's no doubt about it. You know, one touch, it's done. It's done yeah. Thing, you know? <laughs> but yeah, man, um, just my words to you. Congratulations, my bro. And I, I always tell you that the sky is the limit. You understand? Even far beyond, you know? Um, I think Zile mentioned, man, like, you're gonna get to a point where you're the boss, you know? I think, what drove Lucky so far is that he always had this perception of himself that 
he's greater than what other people think he is. I remember the first time I was attacked by him, it was 2020, I think. And he was still alone. Uh, Booster wasn't here yet. <laughs> he was all alone, and he's just been this goal-driven guy, man. Like sometimes the things he would say to me, they, they were so scary. It's like, what is this guy saying? You know, <laughs> like he's just here cutting alone, and he's telling me he wants to open his own shop. You know, he wants to branch out and have a whole lot of things going on. And in those three years, man, I've seen you like accomplish everything he actually told me about. You know from branding your clothes, you know, I saw it happen, to buying a better machine, you know, hey, cause you used to trim me. Yeah, I used to hit us, my man. <laughs> but now it's soft life, you know. To him buying his uh, wireless machine, you know, he used to dream about having that as well. To cutting cellets, uh, you know, there's a whole lot of people that he just started cutting and I was like, hey, do I even deserve to be here? <laughs> because he was actually like, yo, he actually followed his dream, man, to moving upstairs where we are, uh, getting someone else to, uh, to help you out because we're just getting too many customers. Yeah, man, like I'm, I'm so proud of you, bro. Um, you inspired me a lot uh, as, a, as, a, as a person, as an individual. And I want to say, man, continue doing what you're doing, man. You know that whatever you see out of your mouth comes to pass. So mm -hmm. carry on manifesting and stay focused, man. Nice. As you said, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> scary and laughable. So, <clears throat> to be honest, uh, I never even thought I would be here where I am today. To me it's like a dream. Uh, like uh, trying to think where everything started and how I become today. Uh, I really can't feel. Because like it wasn't even a plan or even a dream for me to cut hair. I think it was just maybe an incident or maybe God uh, playing his way through me. Uh, because the way I started, uh, it's not like something that I wanted to be. Uh, I just came across the machine. Uh, I'd really love to tell you this story. Uh, by my house. Like my dad just bought a machine and then put them in the house. He was not even buying them for me. And then he put them in the house. And then I just came across them. And then I started cutting one of my friends. And that's how I started cutting. And then I started uh, cutting people and then start charging them. I think when I first I cut was like seven by the time. So from then I just continued cutting. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and then I reached a point where I almost even gave up because like those machines that my dad bought them, all, all of them died and I couldn't even have money to get another machine. But I hustled and hustled and then I get some money and then I bought some other machine and then I got back to cutting again. Uh, cutting hair uh, had taken me to places that I never believed I would be. Uh, cutting hair made me meet people that I never thought I would meet. Uh, being in a room full of superstars just because of cutting hair, which I never thought uh, I would find myself in that place, but by just cutting hair, it took me that far where I felt like I'm living a dream which I didn't plan for, but it just came a dream to me. And now I really enjoy it and then I see more vision about it. And God has been faithful to me in this journey where I, just, I even decided that uh, this is my career and this is what I chose and this is what I'm gonna do. 
Yeah, I know. A lot of people back then didn't believe like uh, Babak was a Kiri and all that. But mm. today, uh, maybe I might be the one showing people that uh, Baba is really a career. You can live your life being a Baba and you can really have a lot. And you can live a fancy life. You know, you can be financial free. I'm financial freedom. Like, if I need something yes. to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying tomorrow. If I want to do it today, yes. I can get it anytime, yeah. anyhow. So I'm just trying to also motivate someone here. Whatever you feel like, maybe you want to do something, do it. If it's giving you money, go with it. And then if it's giving you bread on top of your tailboard, that's fine. Doesn't matter what people say if they're taking it down. But sorry. As long as the money is there and then you're doing what you love. Because to me, I don't feel pain when I'm cutting. I enjoy that's how I enjoy cutting. And I love it so much. When I'm doing it, I do it with all the love that I have. I don't know how to explain it, but it's more than love. That when I'm cutting hair, I give it all of me. I think that's the, also the reason why people love to cut by me because I give it all. Everything that I have in me, I give it out on the haircut. And I make sure that you are happy and you look nice. And then I think that was the most key for me to be where I am. Today, I cut celebrities. Ooh. I'm a big guy. <laughs> nice, nice. Nah, to be honest, you know, when you're walking around in the streets, people are even asking you to take pictures with you. It's not something like you were dreaming to be like that, but it just happened out of nowhere. It's not like maybe I wanted to be a superstar, but what I love made me to be a superstar. Yeah. 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 So, also me saying that, also you can do what you love, not knowing that tomorrow might take you somewhere. That's what happened to me. I didn't know cutting hair was going to make me who I am today. And here I am today. I started cutting from the window side of the house. From the window side, and then I built some big, uh, a shark. And then we we'll just get some poles, put some zinc on top. Busta know it. He's been there, he was mm-hmm. also sweeping for me and all that. And then after that, then I came to Jobek, then I started cutting some of my friends also in rest. Kenny you know it when you moving up and down. Tom also know it. Uh, eventually I started working by APB Campus. That's where everything started. Swing there, I remember it was twenty. 18, uh, then around September, uh, and then I made my name in 2019, that's when people started to believe in me, and then they started to believe that they can see that I'm doing a great job, and then I also get my certificate around that time, I'm a professional barber by the way, not just a barber, I'm a five star barber. So I respect that. <laughs> so after getting my certificate, that's where everything changed. Because I had a vision. Everything just started to ring on my mind. I started to see I can take this far. This is not just now. I can see something ahead of me. And then what made me to also make it more a career. I saw this couple of guys in the US. The niggas are driving large. They're living large, it's just cutting hair. I was like, why not? That's the time I decided that I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna be a barber. I'm gonna, I, I'm, taking, uh, I'm taking a barber as a career. That was the time I was doing my uh, second from last, I was almost done with my, uh, my studies by UJ. Then I was just like, pushing to finish up. I'm just going to finish up for my parents now. This is what I want to do. And then from there, I started doing a lot of things. And then eventually, I think Tom was the first guy who made me to uh, 
plugged me with flash. Flash plugged me to MT, and then from then that's where I just blow. Up. Ooh. I just can't be. It was after lockdown. That's where everything just went up. There's a bunch of pictures of celebrities around here yeah. that I never even thought that I would meet them. But I was around them. Sometimes they invite me for the music video and all that, just because of cutting hair. So. <clears throat> It's, it's been a great journey and I love it and here today from the side of the window to a student center to a renting a chair to renting from the back door I just call it my previous job which was just a back door it was just like a big house type of thing but it was nice and then here today I'm in a complex it's a shopping complex. That's like a bit something huge to me. Seeing myself in a complex. It's not in the streets, guys. <laughs> it's in the complex. Yeah. That's me something and I can't even believe it today that I'm here. I'm so grateful. And I thank God that he took me this far. And he took me way, way, way far again with this what I'm doing today. With more and more, like to be honest, I'm a man of fishing. Like before I do my things, before we even came here, this was already done to me. That's how I do my thing. Let me just tell you the a secret. Like I do things before I do them. So now, to me, this was already done. I'm already tomorrow now. <laughs> so that's how I do my things. So I plan ahead and then I see my things that how we should, uh, how are we going to celebrate it? That's how I saw it and then how we're going to do it. And then that's how I also see my shop, how it's going. Because now there's an improvement, as you can see. There's six mirrors. So the plan is like, we're gonna have like five barbers and then one hairdresser. No, you have guys who do braids on the top and all that. So we're also trying to accommodate those people. They also improve, there's a reception table there. <laughs> That's something. So we also planning to have like a bath and chai. We only need a bath and chai. We don't need ladies ladies. Only bath and chai. Only just for guys. So that's the play. And it's just a nice place. It's like a, I don't know if it's like a club or what. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh play stations, there's sound, there's disco light, I don't know, love shading now. <laughs> but it's a great thing for me to see this and I'm proud of myself, yeah, to be honest. Yeah. Uh for what I did. Uh, Sometimes I don't believe it, but uh, it's a reality. I did it by myself. Mm. And the people around me, how are you such a great person too? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone is around me. Uh, Busta, always there for me. Kennedy, my nigga. And then Tom, Zile, also you pushed me. We just reached 10k, guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's all because of this guy also. Like, he pushed me, he have a lot of followers. So we do, I came up with the idea all the time. So he's just a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever we do, we are now, when which are uh, other things? Articles. Yeah, the wheel everywhere. Like, we're going viral with a lot of videos that we do. I think the other one, you just say over millions, not over millions, like uh, two point something million. That's yes. over some, yeah, two million. Uh, we've been posted by guys from America, Nigeria, so which is huge, which is a good marketing for us to put our brand in a, in a, in a good position. So I just want to say I appreciate everyone who's around. Everyone, I forgot. Pessy. Pessy. Man, 
Pesi, Asive, Offense, Otto. You're such a blessing to me, you're such a brother. Uh, you and I, it's not even long that we met, but uh, you've been a good brother to me. And then uh, it's good to be around you. We talk as your brothers, and I really appreciate for you to even show up here. Yeah. I did invite a lot of people, some could make it, some kind of during the day, but they couldn't stay. But whoever came, uh, I really appreciate guys. Uh, and I also wish you all the best in all the industry that you are in, in the different areas that you guys are also on me, you also do well. And let's make money together, let's live high lives together. <laughs> yes. Let's enjoy this life. Yeah. So yeah, I think I can say uh, thank you so much, guys. This is just the beginning. The creator is on the way. It's coming. Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah. And then I appreciate all you guys. I love you. <laughs>